What do you do when you're the only low carb, keto, carnivore person in your house? And you have kids. Hey there, njroot22.com here with another low carb, keto, carnivore uh, discussion. And this is about children um, and whether you're the only low carb person in your house. I can understand if you don't have kids and you want to be low carb, it's really not uh, a big deal because you, you eat what you want. You control your own diet. But what if you and the other parent in the house are not both low carb and you both make decisions on what to feed the children? Um, it's a really, really uh, troubling experience for me because I see, and I'm sure a lot of people who are low carb have personally witnessed what happens to kids when they eat sugary things. <clears throat> Any kind of sweets, uh, candy, they, they turn into monsters. They, they go, it, it's, it's proof that, that sugar and, and carbs are just really not good for your body. If it makes kids into crazy maniacs, uh, it's, just, it's just not cool. Now, I have to say that we do try to cut the carbs down, uh, well, we collectively as, as, a, uh, as a unit here. Um, you know, it's not all about sandwiches and pizza and, and all bready things. But for instance, I mean, just take a look at these, these organic raisins, okay? Uh, this little 20 ounce uh, container of raisins is 448 grams of carbs. It's insane. I mean, they only get 10 grams at a pop, so it's, I, I did the math. It, cal it came out to about eight grams of carbs. You know, you gotta give them some finger food when, just to keep them occupied. It's, food, food works like that. And some, sometimes we give these organic uh, puffs. See, these puffs. Uh, this, this entire container of puffs is uh, 100 grams of carbs, but it's relatively low carb per, uh, per serving I and mean, we give them like a quarter of the serving so it ends up being only a couple two or three grams of carbs so These aren't bad, but it's still grain based carbs uh, And then there's these cookies organic cookies and you know, they like they always have to have that, that little monster or the character on there um, And these are also you know 14 grams of carbs per per uh, serving that's eight uh, nine cookies and then usually you get you know, half of that. So, it, and even worse are cereals. Any kind of cereal you eat uh, and give to the kids, this, this one here has 44 grams of carbs per cup. And of course, they're obviously not gonna get a cup. But all these foods are very, very high in carbs. And I know I've read of families who, who are collectively low carb. You know, both parents are low carb and the kids, there's, there's a website out there, I think it's called Ditch the Carbs. They have, um, little helpful tips on how to give a kid a low carb lunch uh, compared to the like junky crackers and but what what do people do uh, does anybody else have this situation that I'm in where I'm the only keto low carb carnivore person in the house and so obviously my ideals aren't you know being applied or those ideals aren't being applied across the board now like I said Again, we do generally do lower carb for the kids. We, I mean, that the kid ends up eating lower carbs than most standard American diet following families. There's definitely very rarely pizza and those things, but there, there happens to be, you know, potatoes and, and some starches, sometimes some pastas, um, penne and broccoli. It's not all bad. I think our kids are probably on the right side of the equation. But I mean, what starts off in your childhood turns out to, it turns into a lifetime addiction, and it's I don't want that for for the kids, and it 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 really burns me up inside that these cookies and crackers, and the kid ends up wanting them. You can't they they now have a, like an addiction to these things. Like when you when they want something to eat, and you try to give them some blueberries, uh, that doesn't last too long. 
They, they want cookies, they want crackers, and they know where the crackers and cookies are. They, they demand to open up the pantry and get those things. That's why you have to put a lock up high so they can't get in there and steal them when we're not looking. But it, it's a very troubling situation with children, and even harder when you're the only one. So I'm just wondering if anybody else has that problem um, and what to do with the kids when you're, when you're armed with the information on how to live a healthy, almost zero carb life, you know, meat based. Like, how do you convince the other person that, that just because it's veggies and low fat doesn't mean it's good for you? Well, it's the growing kids need this and need that. And that, that can be argued against. And of course, if you try to use Google, Google's filled with fake, uh, misleading information from people who want to profit from, from your money and purchases. So you're not going to get any kind of real information. You get real information from people who can prove it to you, not from some report or from some big name uh, medical publication and so on. So this is, this is our, my problem and I really don't want, I, I mean I'm fairly certain my kids aren't going to turn into like 500 pounds. I see all these fat kids sitting around. We went to the Bridgewater Commons Mall today and I saw kids like sitting around on the bench. They weren't even looking around. They were just sitting on their smartphone and they were fat. And like well, this is just not, not good and I don't want my kids to be like that um, later on in life. So I'm doing my best with the little resources I have and little support I have. but. I don't know how other people in my situation would, would um, handle it and it's not like I can just dictate what people eat and it's sort of like a, a group effort and a team decision and I can just only suggest and make suggestions and show proof and luckily when I do the food shopping I really do at least pick out the, the best of the worst or the least worst of the, <laughs> the bad things out there and I, I read the boxes and I, I pay attention but some of the stuff is, it pains me to, to even offer it to my children. So that's if it, it's one of the, one of the quagmires with, with being the sole person out there who figured it out. And, and that's it. Have a good week or weekend.